Hello everyone and welcome to my second video in Pandaween 2022. I had to miss last week because I was not feeling well. I have not been getting enough sleep and it's been a really rough time. So I had to skip a week to just focus on my health and everything and not force myself. So um, we're gonna have one less Pandaween video than we normally do, but hopefully that will be all right. Today we're doing another cosplay walkthrough for a very Halloween appropriate cosplay. But before we jump into it, I wanted to show you guys this year's Pandaween merch line, um, my sample of the merch is very wrinkly and I didn't feel like ironing it so just bear with me. So every year for Pandaween I do a cute and spooky themed merch drop and this is this year's design so I did this vaporwave Halloween design. It comes in both pink and black and it comes in a bunch of different sizes and styles. So you have plenty of things to choose from. If you do wanna check out this drop, you can go to my Teespring store, which I'll have linked down in the description as well as on screen for you to check out. And um, yeah, it will only be available until Halloween. So make sure to grab it while you still can because it is limited edition. Um, but yeah, I think it's super cute. I love how it came out. I think it's just like, very cute and spooky. I think it fits the theme. It was really hard to top last year's cute and spooky drop, but I think I did an okay job. So anyway, I hope you guys like it and I hope that you guys will check it out. All right, all of that said, today we are going to be doing a real Ghostbusters cosplay. If you don't know, uh, the real Ghostbusters is the 80s cartoon adaptation of the Ghostbusters movies. So it, it takes place in a completely different universe. It's basically just like a wacky 80s cartoon. I wouldn't say I'm like a huge, like diehard fan of it. I, I have like casually watched it. I am more of an extreme Ghostbusters kind of person, but you can't deny that real Ghostbusters is an absolute classic. I thought the designs were really cute because in the real Ghostbusters, they have all different colored jumpsuits. I've always had this dream of doing a femme real Ghostbusters group. Um, I don't know enough people who are into real Ghostbusters to actually like do the group with me. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and just do it myself. So I chose Eon, not necessarily because he's my uh, favorite, but because back in 2017, I met Maurice LaMarche, who is the voice actor for Eon, and he is like the sweetest person ever. We ended up following each other on Instagram and he's been super supportive and super lovely about like my cosplay adventures and everything and has just been really, really lovely. So I wanted to, since I've, I already wanted to do a real Ghostbusters cosplay, I also wanted to like at the same time kind of dedicate a cosplay to him. So I thought this would be like the perfect opportunity to just do like a femme version of Egon and then like dedicate that to him. And I also just really liked the idea, like I had this idea for for like what a femme Egon would look like. And I just really liked that design idea. And I recently got my new Vanessa wig, which was like $80. <laughs> And so I thought I would repurpose that to do this cosplay. So I realized I had the necessary wig. I wouldn't have to buy like a new wig. And so I thought, why not bring this idea that I've had in like the back of my head for years to life? So that's what we're going to be doing today. The pattern I'm using, I forgot to bring it upstairs. Maybe I'll go do that right now. <laughs> okay, so the pattern I'm using is McCall's M7675, which looks like this. It is a onesie pattern. So it's like a multi-use onesie pattern. It's meant for children, it's meant for adults. So the only alterations I have to make to this pattern is to add the correct collar and to also add pockets, because obviously if you're gonna be wearing a jumpsuit, you might as well have pockets. Uh, so yeah, so all of that said, let's jump into it. So first I started off by cutting out all of my pattern pieces. Now I didn't have enough material left over to do the full sleeves all in one piece. So um, following some advice from my roommate, I decided to cut the sleeves out into three pieces. So I have the main piece here and then I did the two side pieces. And I pin them together just like this to make the full sleeve. Then I sewed that all together using the smallest seam allowance possible. And then I went over it with my zigzag stitch to keep it from fraying. Gave that a really good pressing to make the seams nice and crisp. Then for the cuffs, I just cut a chunk off of the bottom of the sleeves and used that as a pattern for my pink fabric. And then I just attached that to the bottom of the sleeves. 
sewed that together and then went over it with the zigzag stitch again to keep from fraying, gave it a good pressing to make it all crisp. And then I repeated the same process for the legs. Then I went ahead and sewed the whole jumpsuit together following the pattern's instructions. Here I am putting in the sleeves. Then I went over all of my inside seams with the zigzag stitch to keep them from fraying. Then for the collar, what I did is I took a blouse that I had already and traced the collar to get the right shape. And I just ended up extending it just because the collar of the jumpsuit is much bigger than the collar of the blouse. Then I cut that out. Then I sewed that together, leaving a hole in the middle so that I could turn it inside out later on. Did that, top stitched it, and then gave it a nice ironing to make it nice and crisp. And then I put in the zipper, and then I sewed the collar on just by folding the bottom of it over the top of the jumpsuit. I decided also to add pockets to this cosplay. So using my scraps of fabric that I had left over from cutting out the jumpsuit, I just made a couple of little pockets. Then I went ahead and seam ripped the side seams on either side, added the pockets to them. Then for the actual designs, they have uh, two breast pockets. I decided since I already had pockets in this jumpsuit that I didn't want to make real breast pockets. So I just made fake ones. So I just took some scraps of fabric and made these little strips. And then I just sewed those onto the breast of the jumpsuit. Then I made the belt, so I used some leftover fabric that I had, sewed that together, turned inside out, and pressed it. And then I added this little buckle. And finally, I had to add the patch. I started off by trying to hand sew it because I didn't want to iron it, but this ended up being very difficult, so I gave up, and I just ended up ironing it on. And now it's time for the final reveal. And there you have it, that is the finished cosplay. This cosplay came together in two days, which I'm really proud about. It, it came together quite easily. The last time I used this pattern, I had to alter it. Like I, I made the bodysuit and I had to go back and like alter the bodysuit really heavily because it was just massive on me. And I don't know why that is because this time when I used the pattern, it fit perfectly fine. So I'm not sure what happened that first time to make it so big and like, difficult but um this was a very straightforward pattern to do it was very easy to add the pockets it was very easy to add the collar so yeah onesies are actually very straightforward and i'll definitely be making more of them um now that i've kind of conquered my fear because like the last time i made them it was such a pain in the ass that i was like oh i don't want to do that again um but it ended up being fine overall i'm very happy with this cosplay i think it lives up to the design that i had in my head and i think it looks very cute which is what I wanted. The only thing I didn't like about this cosplay is that I accidentally made the legs too short. If I decide to wear boots with this cosplay, which is what they wear, there's gonna be like a patch of skin between the, the jumpsuit and the boots. I could try and find taller boots, but we will we'll see. Um, but aside from that, it all came together very quickly and very easily, and I'm very happy with it. I guess that's it. <laughs> Hopefully I will be feeling better as the weeks progress and I'll be able to properly put out more Pandaween videos. I, I do obviously have videos planned, but I need to prioritize my health above everything else. So I'm gonna do the best that I can, but if I do end up taking breaks, um, you'll know why, but I'm gonna try and make this as complete of a Pandaween as possible. Again, if you want to snag my new merch line, I'll have a link on screen as well as in the description to check it out. And yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, Panda Faces, please be sure to take care. Bye. Oh gosh, I have to come all the way to the camera. Bye.